नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल सलाम वालेकुम व्यूवर्स दिस इज विद्या भूषण दर विद न्यूएस्ट एपिसोड ऑफ टैग लाइन विद विद्या भूषण दर वंस अगेन एंड आई थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी ऑल दीज इयर्स वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट सोशल पॉलिटिकल कल्चरल एंड मेनी अदर टॉपिक्स दिस टाइम द टॉपिक इज अगेन ऑन कश्मीर इट हैज बीन 4 इयर्स सिंस द ड्रकोनियन एंड द आर्किक 370 आर्टिकल एंड द 35 ए हैज बीन एनल्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड वी आर इन द मोड ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन Kashmir has come up in a new era a new dawn has set up in Kashmir and the record number of visitors are visiting Kashmir the number of terrorist activities have gone down the stone pelting has gone down so it's time to celebrate and i'm glad to tell you that i am having a lot of events lined up under the tag line of Jashn Kashmir and i want to tell my viewers once again that Kashmir is the fountain head from which flows our culture in fact everything that defines our identity is as indians coming from kashmir it was home to panini whose ashtadhyayi is considered the most scientific and flawless treatise on grammar in the world sharang dev considered the father of both hindustani and carnatic music bharat muni wrote the world's first treatise on dramatics the natya shastra acharya abhinagov one of the greatest scholars of all times wrote 46 literary classics including the renowned abhinav bharti and we was will be surprised to know that abhinav bharti is taught in 84 universities around the world and unfortunately none in india kashmir was considered as a board of saraswati the highest seat of learning and was also referred as sharda peetham so much so that when students graduated from kashi they took the symbolic four steps towards kashmir as a vow that we will be basically coming to kashmir for higher studies the almost entire body of sanskrit literature came from kashmir its origin is from kashmir The Mahayana Buddhism was spread across Mid Asia, China, and Japan by the Kashmiri monks. It was not just a piece of land; it is not just a piece of land. It's the abode and soul of India. We are we were ousted 34 years back by the radical terrorism. Once again, for the seventh time, the perpetrators thought that we are done forever. They buried us deep in the bowels of earth, but they forgot that we are seeds. and we will blossom again we will rise like phoenix from our own ashes lot now lot of lot has changed in the last 4 years since article 370 was abrogated we had all the reasons to take up guns but we took up pen and we created 50000 engineers half a million community of kashmiri hindus created 50000 engineers doctors lawyers historians filmmakers and of course many designers and folks i'm glad that one such designer a celebrity designer is among us today please help me welcome eminent and very famous jewelry designer rozi tiku jindal rozi ji namaskar namaskar you are welcome on tag tv and tagline with vidya bhushandar i'm on it thank you so rozi ji uh, i would like to basically tell the viewers to start with something about you Rozi Tiku Jindal is the CEO and artistic director of Isan Rose. She is a known jewelry designer who believe in using her art to empower Kashmiri women and use her design to preserve Kashmiri culture heritage in the modern world. She believes that jewelry is more than an accessory. It is an expression of individuality, emotion and style. Hailing originally from the city of Srinagar and having traveled across the world, Rosie brings a unique perspective to the realm of jewelry. During the long 33 long years of struggle, Kashmiri pundits have been working hard towards maintaining their rich cultural heritage. Art, atour and dejour are one of the most sacred belongings of a Kashmiri pundit woman and the ensemble is their Mangal Sutra. To prevent losing paradise roots and ensuring safety and practicality in the modern corporate world, the concept of petite dejour and smaller versions of ensemble were born to cater to the needs of kashmiri women from valley to metros also for the safety of middle aged and elderly ladies smaller versions were designed rozi's artistry has garnered her recognition not only within india's artistic circles but has also led her to develop clientele globally across europe us canada and australia she is famous for her dejour design and has been awarded by the kashmiris for her service towards the tradition and maintenance of cultural heritage rozi has been recognized member of aoj that's art of jewelry 
the charm of a jewelry lies in the intricate melding of tradition and innovation from diamond studded de jure and atour to smaller versions of ensemble her creations radiate a distinct identity that beautifully marries the past with the present every piece she crafts is a testament to her commitment to preserving kashmiri traditions while embracing the contemporary desires of her discerning clientele rozi ji you were born in kashmir yeah i was born and raised in kashmir raised and uh, i got education in kashmir wonderful mm. so rozi ji to start with my first question is you were born in kashmir tell us about your journey from a little girl to a celebrity fashion designer yeah i was like uh, i was born in uh, srinagar and uh, i was brought up there and i went to kendra vidyalay school from there i went to government college of women and uh, after that like you know i wanted to do something and i i knew that like you know in kashmir i won't be able to do so i went to delhi for over there i went uh, i did some professional course and went for corporate jobs after i got married and after children like you know i was always an artist from school to college and then i decided to do something piece of to artist wonderful so there came this jewelry so i uh, did my diamond grading course oh wonderful yeah and gemology course after that i went for the designing i uh, started designing jewelry so after the exodus when there was exodus and after that i saw people stopped wearing de jure because lot of like there was lot of safety measures which had come up and it was like first i saw friends they were not wearing anything it was either wire or a stud and after that i saw like diminishing nobody was wearing it then they thought friends also told us like yaar we can't do anything in corporates in you know everybody was working it has to go with the modern times it that had to go with the modern times with the corporate culture and, and the like metro, doctors and, the metro. and you know metro. and in metro which safety was a major, major issue. issue not only with the uh, youngsters but elderly women True. they were like there was like more uh, risk to them vulnerability yeah so i started thinking about it and it took me 3 4 months to design it Wonderful. so the whole ensemble which was like art art or de jour which is like a long thing art is a, a long chain de jour and then athor which was uh, kind of a risk in metros and that i reduced to petit mm. that was the origin of petit de jour which came up right so then onwards i started designing in petit and then smaller version of uh, ensemble and then longer version of ensemble so when women kashmiri women saw this petit de jour like it started moving mm. and it started moving and uh, then it started spreading like globally people are wearing it all over the world then there is one more thing that like in 1950s 1960s people had migrated from mm. kashmir so those people they did not have any connection with jnk they were not getting people they were not getting anybody who who could cater to them True. so they started coming to me yeah so you address their needs yeah so that's how the i got started that. and that's how journey started wonderful so why you choose jewelry that too from uh, like the kashmiri traditional hindu one i was doing jewelry diamond jewelry all things like necklaces you know all accessories but i started see i am a kashmiri girl through and through a kashmiri girl like um, and uh, my heart soul and everything is with kashmir yeah, proud, and with proud kashmir. of our heritage yeah proud of our heritage so when i started like when i saw that people are not wearing it it's going down they, they like the ladies were not recognized as she is a kashmiri girl mm. like you know this gives 
as Mangasutra you see, they, you see that okay, she is, ma uh, she is wearing Mangasutra, she is a married woman. Like Kashmiri, there was no entity of Kashmiri girl. Kashmiri hmm. women, they lost their entities. So, the moment they start wearing this, so from distance one can make out that she is the Kashmiri, Kashmiri girl. girl. Wonderful. I mean, looking at the history of uh, this ensemble, can you, can you tell us like the, the, the parts like you know, and what is the sanctity, the, the scientific sanctity and the religious sanctity of this Art Arthur and Dejur? Can you throw some light on them? Yeah, see Art Arthur and Dejur is like, is same like Mangasutra. Like uh, others wear Mangasutra as a um, like a ritual, as a you know. As a tradition. As a tradition and we Kashmiris wear Art Arthur Dejur and Sambal as a uh, married. Married, uh, it gives a, a marital status. It it uh, yeah, it's a uh, symbol of marriage. And uh, then the see, there are three parts. Art is the chain. Hmm. Dejhor is the middle one, and then is Athor. Right. So Dejhor has hexagonal shape. That hexagonal shape has a center point. This is this shows union of Shiva and Shakti. Hmm. So, it is a union of man and woman, union of Shiva and Shakti. Shakti. Y yin and Yang as we call it. Yeah. So, this is it. And you know, we um, uh, what happens is when the girl, uh, she is to, uh, in the wedding, what they, there is a, uh, what do you call, there is one function which is called Divgon. In Divgon, the girl's side, girl's parents, they give her Dejhor. Yeah, the, the, the main and symbol. The, the, yeah, the, the main. The, the, the symbol which of Shiva is the Shakti. symbol of Shiva and right. Shakti. With the thread. Yeah, the and moli. And in the thread, they, yeah, uh, moli. Yeah. And in the thread, they have a knot. Hmm. So, this knot is replaced when she goes, when uh, they get married, when when boy and the girl get married and when the in the boy's side. The boy's side gave art the chain one and Athor. Hmm. They remove that instead of the uh, knot. This Athor is placed. So, it is basically a union of uh, two families. Yeah, it is a union of two families, it is a union of uh, 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 two, two individuals. Two individuals and then the union of two families. Two families. And two families means all the relations. I was doing my little research on this Art Athor and Dejur, you know, and I was surprised that there is a, a statue of Bhagwan Buddha's mother. Yeah in Sri Pratap Museum in Kashmir, where she along with her sister are basically displaying the art of tour. It is surprising that 3000 years back mm. in Kashmir or like whenever when they were in Kapilvastu, mm. it was the ritual of the Hindu woman that time also. That time also it was. It, it was, was there. It was, so there. It was Bhagwan Buddha's mother yeah. and, and mm. her, her foster mother basically who actually took care of him mm. as Masi. Mm. The, my next question is, uh, our new generation is shunning away from our traditions, which include jewelry. What message do you have for the new generation? See, majorly I have been working for the new generation because, like, you know, there is a lot of things are coming to the new generation. They do not see actually. Actually, what happens, like in Kashmir, we used to see everybody wearing it, and it was a. Our like, grandmothers, our mothers, young, everybody. Everybody was used to wear it. Now, the scenario was that they did not see, like you know, I told you, like as it is, when uh, this exo after Exodus, a lot of people st stopped wearing it. Mm. So, and they were in the turmoil and everything, e even in uh, functions also, not many people used mm -hmm. to wear it. Security and a lot of issues. But as and when they started settling down, you know, then they realized, like you know, there is this. Time to go back to our roots. Right. And now what happens, like in that time, Kashmiri children, like a uh, girl child, they, were, they could not feel that attachment. Now, coming back, when the families talk about it and when their families are, you know, when they talk very positive about things and they are saying this is it, this is it, and they talk to the child, they talk to the girl child, once they talk to her and when they see, they, they correlate it with the present, you know, modern style. style. 
the question is you now it should match it should gel with the modernity True. so i have developed all these designs which are in, in line with the modernity and like which will basically attract the younger generation which is it's not only attraction you know it should go along with the dressings exactly the whole thing you know it should gel with everything it should basically go along with the sari it should go along with the with the, with the suit you know what stuff. has happened you know i received a call from uh, new york there's a girl she said like i i've like this i want this then she said my mom want to talk to you then we had all video conferencing this uh, her mom told me she said i have a traditional dish hoard and it's a big one we used to have bigger yeah, ones like, like you know she said i have beautiful dish hoard but my daughter is not uh, she said no i not wear it too heavy no too not big. too heavy not too heavy it's not aligning with my uh, dress my dress she was wearing lehenga and she had to you know wear uh, with lehenga she had to wear all this so what happened she said even the chain i don't want chain I mm. want with the chain you change it to the pearls you make it with the pearl art. okay so Can i said i told her i don't make it said, no for me you customize it customize. i said done with you i'll do it for you so then i because then i uh, saw her uh, pick i'll i'll send you that pick then i saw then i told her all right i gave her everything whatever she wanted and to her satisfaction then she, what she did Uh, it was jelling with her attire mm. she was wearing lehenga she was wearing you know jewelry what necklace she was wearing and on top of it she had to wear which was aligning with the with her it dress it was matching it I mean. was super like it was like awesome so i mean are you wearing one as well uh, yeah yeah i am wearing the petite version the petite version she, see i am on yeah, travel yeah, that's true and uh, this is nobody this is the mini miniature version yeah. yeah this everybody this all over the world people um, ladies are wearing now right wonderful so um tell us more about like you know uh, you have your own website uh, where people can basically go and see the designs and you know yeah i have my insta page also so uh, for the sake of viewers viewers we are basically going giving the de details in the uh, you know in the in this uh, in the in the youtube link where you can basically visit the website and you know find the different uh, patterns and designs of the jewelry created by rozi ji and uh, so have you had any exhibitions uh, in north america before or you have any plans they wanted me to in america like i was just uh, in march in march i was in america in chicago i was like there uh, i went to kashmiri you know koa meeting was there okay the camp so i was yeah the camp was there and they told me yes we want your uh, this we want your things i said i have come for the pleasure it, it was my pleasure trip so i was not prepared i said next time i'll come definitely come with like you know Pre prepared with the design and yeah, stuff yeah like that. yeah Wonderful. yeah yeah that time i was it was just my uh, pleasure trip only. so have you started online ordering uh, portal or stuff like that yet or no? it's it's on the cards It's on the cards. It's on the cards. It's on the cards. So we'll 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 keep our viewers apprised about that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, back to Kashmir. Mm. So do you have any plans to open up? Like you know, uh, are, are you still going to be focused on online jewelry, or is it going to be a plan that one day in Kashmir you'll have basically your own showroom? It's a distant dream as of now, but. I know. Let's I, see how it takes. Exactly. It, it's it's a, it's pretty nostalgic. I mean, how how yeah. long has been since you have been to Kashmir? I went in uh, 2013. 13. Yeah. For me, it's 34 years. I haven't been back after 1990. 13. I went. My son told me, "You know, you have not taken me to Kashmir. I want to go to Kashmir, and I want to see everything." When uh, during that time, there was a lo lot of you know, it was not. the scene was all good right. so he, he said when it'll be finished then you'll take me to kashmir so before that i want to say it Wonderful. then me uh, yeah my brother came from california he said like any plans to go to kashmir i said yeah let's go wonderful so so rozi you're you're going back to india uh, in in a, in a couple of days yeah. and we hope to see you soon again in in mississauga in toronto here and we will definitely plan something to showcase your jewelry in a nice setup and we'll basically expect our all our viewers to basically be part of it and 
I would like to tell our viewers that it's the 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 jewelry designed by Roji ji is not only limited to Kashmiri women. Now it's become a vogue basically. Yes. That lot of non-Kashmiri women are also yes, basically. Yes, 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 sir. Going Let me it. tell you. I get calls from non-Kashmiris, and uh, this uh, like there was one uh, lady. She said like I want it in three days time. The whole ensemble. Wow. And she has to pass her uh, upper lobe. She had well. got a, she had got this piercing. And let me tell you one thing, one more thing. You know, I would uh, what request all families that they should do cartilage piercing to the child, female child, at a very young age, when they don't know. But I have seen now that even though, like you know, elders don't have cartilage mm. piercing, I have customized for them art. Mm. I have done customization for their art. And they can wear it without, well without piercing. Without piercing, I have customized. Wonderful. Yeah, but then better will be if they have cartilage piercing. And the, if the child is, it's like you know, with child, it doesn't make a difference. Cartilage piercing, you can't imagine now. Non Kashmiris have uh, cartilage Kandu. piercing, and they tell me that I ask them like, okay, you are non Kashmiri, do you have cartilage piercing? Ma'am, we have. And they they wear the ensembles, Wonderful. because like uh, they were, uh, like in one or two movies also it was, it was shown. Displayed. And after that, so many queries, so many people have taken it. Wonderful, Rosie, thank you so much for being uh, with us at this uh, time and you know at our studio, telling our viewers you know what you do, and viewers, they say that roots are everything. We may have been, we may be have been away from Kashmir for such a long time. It's been 34 years for me particularly, but Kashmir is in our heart, and the way things are happening in Kashmir, I'm sure that we will be basically looking at going back to our lost homes. Thank you so much, Rosie ji, once again, and we look forward to see you again. Thank you. I'm humbled. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Namaskar.